What is up everyone? Welcome back to another Minion Masters video. So in this video I'm going to discuss uh, the new version like version 1.0. So we have some new updates, some changes here. I like many of them so I'm just gonna go through them and uh, give you my opinion on them and let's see what has changed and what, what new stuff we have uh, going on here. So first off we have a new master, Morelia, the Leech Queen. Well, uh, you probably have noticed that I usually just play with Stonebreaker only, but uh, from every now and then I try out like new monsters and stuff like that, but I'm surely not gonna buy it right away. But we're gonna see how good she is, and uh, I don't think that in, in the beginning she's gonna have like decks that are like, uh, that can be played only with her effectively, but we'll see that in the future. But uh, definitely glad to see something new show up, and uh, I like the fact that they keep adding content. So, more importantly to the balance changes. Uh, so, Commander Azali no longer affects flying minions. This is something I really like seeing here, because the bets, 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 the another bets that are produced, yes, by bets, bets, bets. So the card that you you play that card first, and then you play as many cards to spend as many man, as much mana as you can, and that way it just spawns a lot of flying little annoying bets. And uh, when when she grabs the bridge or someone grabs grabs the bridge while she's alive, they all get uh, the the shield. So. That was really annoying to deal with, especially if both bridges are not claimed or claimed by the enemy, and then you can they can grab one bridge uh, and tactically wait for you to like waste all the shields, then grab the other, and so on, so on, so on. Really annoying combination. That and the Guardian were are definitely the two best decks currently available, and she's getting nerfed, so that combination is gonna definitely go go down in strength let's call it like that another nerf is the guardian nerf we were definitely aware of this i was complaining about it a lot i really hate that minion and now it only shields crystal elves which is something i really like uh the mana cost though is going down the damage is going up so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be used definitely differently this is a much much fairer thing in my opinion because right now you can Make a deck around him still probably, but it's gonna go only with crystal elves. Uh, I can see that working. I can see that working really well. But like combining reboomer and priestess and uh, I don't know a few demons or something else with him, it was just too annoying. So I'm really glad to see this nerf. Okay, uh, the big dragon is getting a buff, which is something he definitely needs. But I don't know, he seemed kind of kind of weak in my opinion now it does 80 damage okay uh, the health is it went up which is definitely nice I mean it was really an expensive minion I didn't see many of them uh, get played in the higher ranks uh, like the higher we got in a series the less often we saw and I, I think in the last like even 10 or so episodes we, we haven't seen anyone played and um, this could definitely help bring it up i mean i don't have the card i haven't played it myself but from what, what i'm see from what i've seen from other players it's uh, much more often played in 2v2 than in 1v1 so hopefully this gets it viable in 1v1 also uh red bull so red bull it's not a minion it's the master the rambo rambo red uh master that's why it's called red bull probably so it's basic attack damage is going up, which is also something I agree with, because it did seem a bit like, I don't know, underwhelming. It definitely, his uh, basic attacks per week. Again, I don't play him, so it won't help me much, but I'm glad to see like players that play him get something, because uh, he really did seem weak. Uh, Snake Drake, this is another card that I felt like was definitely really weak, despite being a legendary, and... It gets more health and it gets more root dura duration. Not many people use it, uh, like, before this, not many people used it. I think it's gonna get much more users now, and I like seeing this. I definitely agree with this, because I think he was really weak. Stormy. Okay, Stormy is getting, like, a mini rework rather than a buff or nerf. So it's not longer gonna stun himself. It's gonna have a bit smaller range, but it's gonna move faster, so... 
it, when it shoots, it won't like break. It won't stand in in place, and it's gonna move faster, like pretty much all the time. Now, uh, the range also did go down. So on one hand, uh, this makes sure he won't kind of run away from the. Uh, I I guess that th this is gonna make him run away from the minion that he is like constantly targeting. Like they said here. Uh, well, so, particularly if they are removing the self stun, it will no longer constantly target the closest minion. So, he's not gonna like get stuck on that one minion and have the priestess heal him. So, you just wait for the priestess to like. You, you pray that priestess won't get stuck on the same minion within the healing range. If that happens, he can just stay there forever and until he kills that minion if, if the priestess doesn't die or. I don't know. You hit him with a fireball or two fireballs, so he kills him. So he heals him himself in the next attack. But he's still gonna deal damage to himself. So it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how this works. But we'll see definitely. But I actually think it's a good good change because at times he was annoying. Like if you combine combine him with some other minions, he definitely would be very strong. But uh, like, I don't know, I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. It might destroy him completely, it might even make him stronger, we'll see. Anti Skeleton and Curse Bearer, so their damage is going up. I definitely agree with this, because Anti Skeleton did seem a bit underwhelming for me. I never even considered putting that card in my deck just because of that, so yeah, I like this. And my dragon is also getting a nerf, which is definitely something, like, as much as I use it, as much as I love the card, I definitely agree with the fact that it, it was quite quite strong. Definitely when it's enraged. And, like, the damage is not the main issue with it, the main issue is, like, the punishment it gives you if you play pretty much any spell cards. So that's still gonna remain, so I think this card is still gonna be viable. I'm gonna keep using it in the beginning and we're gonna see just how effective it still is. But it's not that that much of a nerf. I mean, 25%, uh, 20%, sorry, it seems decent, but we'll see. I think the damage is still gonna be fairly good. It's still gonna be able like to make the other person consider using the spells rather than just spamming them. So we'll see how it works and uh, whether it's gonna be good or not. And they changed the name of Recruit to Craft. I guess that's okay with me. Claimable quest will now show up first in the quest carousel. Now, I'm not sure why they don't make them claim. Like, the moment you complete it, it gets claimed. Because this is really annoying. Uh, in multiple occasions, I've had, I've had quests that were stuck there. Like, I, I've just not claimed them, not think about them. Because they're not that apparent. In the, in the like start game, the main menu, you don't see them that easily, and this is definitely annoying. I would like just make this like when you complete the quest, give me the gold and remove it. Don't make me click another time there, because it makes no sense from really from my point of view. Okay, this is some clarifications, and we have a lot of bug fixes also, which is nice. Xbox players are, are also getting some bug fixes and some lag issues uh, solved, which is really nice there. So that's gonna be it for my analysis of this patch. Again, patch 1.2. So I hope you like these kinds of videos also. Make sure to leave a comment down below if I can improve something uh, regarding this. And uh, just let me know if you like them. And don't, don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe if you haven't yet. So I'll see you pretty soon and enjoy.